I want to introduce you to your AI-powered co-pilot in Edge. We've just updated Edge with a new uh, look and feel and new AI capabilities. As you can see here, it's sleeker, it's lighter. And you're going to notice now that we've integrated Bing in a really cool new way. Let me show you. Here I am on the Gap website. I'm browsing around in my new Edge browser. And I want to read uh, Gap's quarterly report. So I can navigate down to their earnings, click on Q3, and up comes the 15-page uh, Gap PDF. It's pretty long. I won't have time to read all that. What I'd love is a, a summary of the key points. I want to show you how now with the power of Bing's AI capabilities within Edge, we can help. With one click, I can open up the sidebar. And now, as you can see at the top of the window, we have two features. We have chat and compose. Let me show you how chat works. I can use chat in Edge to simply ask it to give me the key takeaways of the page I'm on. So I'll just say key takeaways from the page. And Bing and AI can now read that PDF. And look how great. It comes up with the summary of the key points here. Their earnings, the fact that it's going to reaffirm full year guidance. Very, very cool. A massive time savings. But now I want to compare this with, say, Lululemon, who also has their third quarter earnings. Bing can now call out to the web, pull information from outside of this page, bring it into Edge, compare it with the information that's on this page, all within Edge. And I asked it to do it in a table. And look how amazing this is. Just like that in one table, I can get an answer to this question. Think about how much time that would have taken otherwise. Let me show you how we can take it one step further. A top use case we've learned from our friends at OpenAI is that developers are really being more productive with ChatGPT. So here, we're on a Stack Overflow website discussion board to learn a little bit about programming. And in this case, I'm researching tips on how to parse a JSON file. As we read through, we find this great little code snippet. Uh, and I'm like, oh, it's fantastic except it's in Python and we need it in Rust. All we need to do is highlight that text, have it automatically co you know, copied over into the Edge sidebar, and now uh, Bing inside of Edge says, what do you want to do? And we'll say, hey, rewrite this code in Rust. And with that simple command, Bing can go and take that code and rewrite that automatically in the new programming language. This is amazing. GitHub Copilot has been a huge boost in developer productivity. Imagine what the Copilot can do for people everywhere on any page. One final thing to show you. Not only can you better consume information, but you can better create. After our big announcement, I'm going to want to write a LinkedIn post, let's say. So I'll just click Create on the post, and up comes the creation dialog in LinkedIn. But now I can open up the Bing sidebar, and you can see here, I now will go to Compose, and I'll just give it a prompt. I'll say, hey, introducing the new AI-powered Bing and Edge. Let's make that enthusiastic and generate a draft. And just like, I need help with enthusiasm. And just like that, you get a little draft, and I can edit it. And then with one click, it copies right over into my post dialog. I can add some hashtags to get it some, some juice. And just like that, I've created a post. So all of these amazing new capabilities and what we think is a revolutionary new experience, world-class search. The ability to actually get answers to your questions, made easy with integrated chat, and the ability to generate content when you need it to spark your imagination. Brought to you not only when you're searching, but everywhere on the web, courtesy of the new Edge browser. With your co-pilot for the web, we aspire to unlock that joy of discovery, that wonder of creation, and that feeling of empowerment of being able to harness the world's knowledge.